Hi, this is Pest Mate here. Right, I'm doing a video for uh, a little video. Um, there was a question I put on the um, on the forum today about how, how would you put um, letters on a curved surface. Well, there's one or two ways you can do it. You can actually there's a, there's a plugin which is called Shapebender by Chris Fall which you could you could use. Um, but I'm going to show you the uh, a sketch it way to do it. You know, so that you can uh, get to use the tools a uh, bit better really. Okay, so this is our circle here, right? I've drawn the circle. I'm now going to pull that up like so. Okay. Uh, now, once I've got that, I'm actually going to um, turn on hidden geometry, uh, which is in view hidden geometry. I've actually got it on a shortcut on, on G, which then puts it on. Okay. As you can see, the top is highlighted. I'm pressing Control now, and I'm just going to pull a line, uh, put, pull another cylinder down there. The reason I'm using that for that's to put my letters onto. Okay. When I've got that, um, I then go to the letters there, which is a 3D letter, right? Now, if it says, uh, if it's ticked where it says fill, you don't want to fill it. You want, none of them need to be ticked. Okay. I'm just going to use the letter CNC because that's what the uh, the guy did in his question. It was about a CNC, so we'll have a letter C. I'm then going to place it, and then he puts it on the end of my cursor. Now, the beauty of putting the, the, this line round there is that the inference it finds the centre look which is actually cock on which is exactly what you want and so I'm just going to sit that onto there so it goes lovely really good okay then I'll click it again for the to get the next letter which is going to be uh, N and I'm going to place that one on as well like so okay great and then do it a third time uh, this time I want C again, and then I'm going to place the C on there. Now, just in case somebody's thinking, why don't you put the C on twice and pick the letter twice, and, or copy it across? Unfortunately, it keeps, its it keeps the axis then and doesn't lay flat on the surface. Okay, that's the reason why. Right, then we've got all our letters, which is really good. Right, then I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to erase it because I, I don't need it now because I've got my position. Right. Once I'm happy with that, um, I'm then just going to select them all, like so. Oh, that's a little slow. What's going on there? That's a, that's a strange one. I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, right. Let's select my letters, like so. The box is going to be slow. Then I'm going to right click. I want to explode them. Now, now I've exploded them. They're sort of they're stuck to the cylinder now, so. If I select them, there you go, that will give me that selection. If I then want to pull pull it out, I can. So if I get me the pull tool, push out, I don't know. Click on the next one again, double click, and double click. And there you go, turn the hidden geometry off. And as you can see, that's how you sort of put letters on. And what you can do, to really posh it up a bit, if you want, if you feel that you, you need to, um, you can, um, I've got a tool here called Rain Corners. Which will put a radius round at the bottom of the letters. So I, I, I'll bring it down for you to show you. There it is. There, look. Uh, it does a chamfer and a radius. If I then click on that surface there, you see how that's where the proposed radius is going to be. Okay. Uh, once I'm happy with that, we'll keep them on the top. You can de deselect them if you want to, but I've got to go all the way around there. I don't want to do it. So if I then just right click and then calculate, it will then calculate all the radiuses and hopefully. Put us a nice radius round that, and there you go, it's done. If I go over to this one here, I can show you there. I'll put a bit of colour on it, a bit more of a posh one, really. Oops, there we go. And so that's how you sort of put a you know letters on a on a on a curved surface. Now, if you if you wanted the letters to be sort of closer together, okay, then what you can do is bef before you pull the circle up, yeah. You just you go to if I'll show you I'll quickly show you look if you draw a circle like so you then right click on the edge of that circumference in the entity, entity, entity info it tells how many sides you've got now if you want the letters closer together you would then increase the number of sides so if I was to go 36 like so then I'll pull it up and you'll see that the sides are smaller so the letters obviously going to be closer to each edge, which brings the letters closer. Anyway, I hope that explains it, and I hope uh, that will uh, 
help you along your way. Thanks a lot.